Hello friends. Today we are going to construct the simple conical projection with one standard parallel. So the name itself says in this projection we are going to construct only one standard parallel. Okay. So for that purpose we require this sort of data. The first one will have RF that is representative fraction and that is the value of it is 1 is to 200 triple zero triple zero latitudinal interval is 15 degree longitudinal interval is 30 degree latitudinal extent is 0 to 75 degree north it means the projection is for northern hemisphere then longitudinal extent is 0 degree to 120 degree eastern and western hemisphere and one more attribute we have added over here that is standard parallel is 45 degree okay so using this rf and the formula of rre we calculate the value of rre radius of reduced earth and the value sorry the formula of rre is 6400000 that is the radius of actual earth and this is our rf the radius of actual earth has been divided by rf will get this rre value 3.2 cm and using this radius this much distance radius we have drawn one circle over here okay so again i am saying uh, i can show you how to draw this circle so i have this big scale with me and i have just taken a distance of 3.2 centimeter in it okay and just put the tip of my compass at the corner of my page and then i can draw one circle okay so this is the in starting of basic diagram okay so i have drawn one circle with the radius of 3.2 centimeter and now i am going to divide this circle into four equal part for that purpose i'll draw one vertical line first for the reference purpose and then i can use this protector for plotting 90 degree so i just hold it like this the center point should be matched over it and then i can match this 90 degree point and i draw one line from this point through the center to get the four equal parts of this circle okay so i have the four equal parts of this circle okay now i need to draw according to data set so first i need to plot standard parallel so standard parallel is 45 degree so i just hold this protector in this point this again i am repeating this center this center should be matched with this center okay and the line should be parallel okay this vertical line also matched then i can draw this 45 degree point over here just mark it and using a scale again i'm just holding the scale between center and this point and draw one line okay so i have marked my standard parallel using scale and this protector fine then i need to mark one perpendicular line to this line so will give the names for this line the center is o whereas this is the b point so ob line should be extended perpendicularly in this direction so i just put the center here the center is here and match the line with this ob line and again i am plotting this 90 degree point over here if you if you can see this is my point i have marked over here and then again using scale I am just putting the scale between the point B and this marking okay and just draw the line fine so I am getting one line over here now one more thing I need to do just extend this vertical line from O to the extension to the towards this tangent I have drawn one tangent and what else I am doing I can draw one more line which should be extended towards this cross-sectional point so I got one point over here and I have given the name for it as A. So I got the distance of A to B. Fine. So 
thing is over for standard parallel now we are moving towards latitudinal interval and longitudinal interval so we need to plot 15 degree and 13 degree respectively so i just hold the again protector over here match the lines and match the centers perfectly then i can draw this is the 10 color line and this is 15 and this is 30 i have marked and again using scale i can draw the line this is for 30 degree and this is for 90 degree so we will give the names for it also c d and here i can give the name it as a e okay so we will have this much distances on our basic diagram now moving further to plot a longitudinal interval i just take the distance from e to c why because the longitudinal extent uh, interval is 30 degree so we require 30 degree distance in our compass the arc should be marked from the center of the circle like this way fine one mark i have marked over here and for reference purpose i'll draw this ob line much darker because this is our standard parallel okay so this is our standard parallel and we got one intersection point over here so what else we need to do over here is just hold the protector like this it should be matched and this vertical line should be parallel to this vertical line and again just plot the 90 degree over here and then hold the scale between these two points this intersectional point and this 90 degree point and draw one line okay if you draw this line you can give the name for this line is m n okay so why we are giving such a names to understand the construction purpose and to get the reference for uh, further construction of main diagram so here we have constructed all the aspects of basic diagram so this is our basic diagram okay understood so what else we do we did the draw the circle with the 3.2 centimeters radius then divide it by four parts then we are having standard parallel then we are having latitudinal interval longitudinal interval and then we mark the arc using the distance of c and e that is the 30 degree interval and then we got the one perpendicular line to oa line that is mn line okay fine so this much is for the basic diagram now we will move further to construct a main diagram and how to plot it i'll just explain you using this plane side i'll just mark one vertical line uh, there is uh, no measurement of this line you can just draw with the any length but it should be vertical okay and the perpendicular to your page size okay now moving further we need to plot first you think uh, you should understand one point you should mark and that point should be never moved from that place then put the tip of your compass at b point and extend it up to a this a so i got the distance from a to b in my compass now i just put the tip of my compass at this point i'll just move the place of this page that way you can easily see what's going on okay so here i am putting the tip and then I can draw an arc which should be more than a half circle perfect okay now looking towards data we are having latitudinal interval as a 15 degree so 15 degree means what we need to get the distance of d to e that is a 15 degree that distance should be covered in our compass size okay fine 
and according to the extent of latitudes that is 0 degree to 75 degree and as it is we mark this is as a 45 degree so above that we will have 60 and 75 and below that we will have for 30 15 and 0 degree so we can mark it like this way you can see carefully see i can mark either i have put the tip over here the intersection point just put it carefully and just mark one point and then mark another point and using the same distance put the tip over here again mark one point for 30 degree mark one point for 15 degree and mark yet another point for zero degree okay now what else you have to do just increase the distance how much kitna increase karna hai apko? Yaha se. the center should be same center pe put karo and then extend the distance up to the this zero degree point okay and then draw again a concentric arc fine then reduce the distance by 15 degree and you can draw a 15 degree circle or 15 degree arc then again reduce the distance and this line is for 30 degree already we have drawn for 45 degree so we are moving further for the 60 degree line and i have drawn one more line for 16 degree then we are having this 75 degree last line so the last line to draw this last line is a bit complicated but if you draw it carefully you can easily draw it okay so fine i have drawn all the latitudes in my uh, journal so whatever the extended lines you can rub afterwards so we have plotted latitudes so now the next thing we need to plot the longitudes using this interval 30 degree interval but for that purpose we're not getting this c to e distance instead we are getting the distance of m to n okay so what we can do just put our compass here to take a distance of m to n fine and then this is our 45 degree so wherever there is an intersection of 45 degree here and this mark the longitudinal points so i am going to plot the points and i'll explain how many points has to be plot okay so i have plot just plot the point to get the reference so i have plotted four points why four i'll explain okay see as per the extension of longitude it is a 120 so 120 divided by interval that is 30 so we will get the value of 4 okay so means for each hemisphere we need to draw four longitudes so four points in this side and four point for that side okay so now the last uh, left part is very easy just hold the scale from this center point through this marking towards the final arc or the last arc and draw one vertical or straight line remember all the lines of longitude should be straight they should not be curved so as my paper is fixed over here i cannot move it properly so i am trying my best to draw you can see here 
the center is matching the point is matching and you can draw the line fine the same thing for this side also the center the point and the line again the last longitude so this is the complete construction of our main diagram okay so we have drawn this basic diagram on the basis of this we have drawn this main diagram as well but here we need to do some markings okay for that purpose i'll extend i'll rub the extended lines whatever are there okay so i'll rub everything over here whatever is remaining okay so one more thing we need to do over here is make the standard parallel darker to get the idea about that where is that exactly placed so i am putting the point over there again and i can just mark it or uh, expand it for a while hmm? just for a reference so this is our 45 degree standard parallel then this is having 30 degree this is 15 degree and this is 0 degree okay now i will give the values for longitudes this is 0 degree longitude this is 30 degree this is 60 degree this is 90 degree and this is 120 degree okay so the red color markings are for longitudes and the direction is east okay and this again here i need to draw 60 75 degree and the northern hemisphere understood and same way you can write the values for longitude in this direction also 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree 120 degree west okay so this is the complete construction of main diagram of simple conical projection with one standard parallel okay so briefly i'll again repeat what uh, we did in this projection we just first calculate the rre using rf using this formula we got rre as a 3.2 cm we drew the circle of 3.2 cm radius then we divide this circle into four equal parts then we marked ob line as a standard parallel using 45 degree then we plot the 90 degree tangent towards this direction and we get the ab distance then we plot oc od and oe lines they these are the 0 degree 15 degree and 30 degree lines using ce distance we plot one arc over here we get the intersection point on ob line using those this intersection point we draw the perpendicular line to oa line and we get the mn distance and then we draw the main diagram we first draw the vertical line using this ab distance we first draw this 45 degree uh, standard parallel i can mention over here also this is a standard parallel we draw the standard parallel arrow towards 45 degree standard parallel and then using de distance that is 15 degree distance we just mark two points above for the 60 and 75 and three points below for 30 15 and 0 to plot the latitudes then using concentric point same point we draw all the arcs then using this mn distance on the standard parallel we plot four points four points we get from here Uh, to uh, longitudinal extent divided by longitudinal interval 120 divided by 30 we get the 4 and 4 for each hemisphere we get the points and through this point from the center we just draw one one line and we get all the latitudes and longitudes over here that is the complete construction of standard uh, one standard parallel conical projection hope you understand this construction procedure if you have any question you can drop the questions in comment box or you can ask on whatsapp group thank you thank you very much